What's going on, guys? It's Phoenix. Um, this is like take two of this because I rambled and went on too long in the first take. Um, so unlike what a lot of people are doing with like top 16 of 2016 and all that, I'm just going to do like my top five of 2016, and then after that, I will show off some uh, some honorable mentions that I have. Um, that would be in like my top 16 if I flushed an actual list out. Um, but I don't want to really be bothered to do a full on list. <clears throat> Man, if I sound congested, it's because I haven't been able to pick up my new um, allergy meds yet, because I ran out early in the week. Money, meh. Um, anyhow, I digress. <clears throat> so, coming in at number five, we have, and I know a lot of people are going to slam me for this, but Takara's Masterpiece Hot Rod. Yeah, he's not the best looking figure because of this, and then you look at him from the front, and yeah, all that on the top. Um, and he does have the major flaw of that happening, because for whatever reason, complete design freaking oversight of not having this section tab in at all, because oh no, they just they want him to sit down and be able to fish. You can still do that while with working some sort of tabbing thing in. This joint, considering it's just a pin joint right in there, is going to get, it, which you can't see because of the arm, right in there, is going to get really loose over time. That's just a huge design oversight in my opinion. And in spite of the other minor issues with this figure, that's the main reason. Just that design oversight and just the almost like too simple leg transformation um, of why this figure's at my number five spot. I do really like him. Um, honestly, he's probably my third favorite official masterpiece. Emphasis on official that I got this year. Um, and he is really good. He's loads better than his original release many years ago. But he still is there, but he's not quite what he should have been. Coming in at my number four spot is actually a three-way tie. Um, no, no, it's a two-way tie. I'm looking at the figures that are on this list. So the two-way tie is between Master Match Creations, uh, Reformatted, Gundog, their Masterpiece Hound Analog. I got the, um, the Animation Accurate Color Scheme just because it was easier to get at the time. I really like this. I really like the figure a lot. It's a lot of fun to mess around with. The transformation is very intuitive. It's fun. And I just I like his look overall a lot better than uh Fans Toys' Masterpiece Hound. And he's just he's a really cool figure to just like pick up occasionally and fiddle around with for for a masterpiece analog. So yeah, he's he's a really fun figure. He does have some minor issues, like the seats here on the back of his legs will pop off, at least on mine, off, out of the little slider track that they're on when I'm transforming him. But honestly, like he's just he's a really cool, fun figure. I like him. His companion here is actually, funnily enough, the figure, well, one of them that I've gotten this year that's had a more complicated transformation, but the one that I actually really like, even with his more complicated transformation. That's a Bad Cube's Sun Surge here. I honestly really like this figure. A lot of people have bemoaned him for his transformation. Yeah, it's fiddly and completely overwrought and maybe a little too complicated. But for some reason, like, I'm completely okay with that. It doesn't bug me at all. And every so often, when I do actually transform Sun Surge, like, sure, it does take about 20-30 minutes still. But it just, it makes sense where things go, and there is, like, a logical, like, step-by-step, I'll be able to draw out one process with the transformation. It is a very complicated transformation, but at the same time, it's an intuitive one, and it makes sense, and it feels fluid and fun. And, yeah, so that's why he's at my number four spot, tied with, um, Gundog. I really like some sort here, uh, more... Master Sunstreaker, he just, um, because of the transformation, because there's honestly better figures that I've gotten than him, 
that I've had more fun with, he's at number four with Gundog. Number three is a single figure. It's a fairly recent release. And he's getting like two other releases of his character in 2017, I believe. I know Mastermind Creations is doing one, and I think another company is doing one. But Generation Toys, Jazz. This is my like stand-in of sorts for a proper uh, Masterpiece Jazz. I really like him. He has his quirks, like the little weird missile launcher things that they didn't really need to include. Um, the fact that the wheels are a little bit taller than the head, I would have liked to see these maybe come down a little bit more during the transformation. And this whole weird situation in here with the torso, which I can hopefully show off. Yeah. But, you know, in spite of that, he's a really cool and honestly a very fun figure in both modes. The transformation is very intuitive. And he's just, he's really cool to mess around with. And just like... I don't know. Look at his fun. He's got a really nice aesthetic to him. And I think that's what sold me more on him compared to the other jazzes that we've seen the prototypes for that are coming out. Um, he's not without his flaws. For me, the whole torso, torso situation in there, because of his hollowness and because these panels are kind of a failed attempt at plugging that, is his biggest flaw, um, as is some of the awkwardness in the arms. But, you know, he's still a really cool figure in spite of his flaws. And he's one that I will legitimately just, like, pick up and transform from time to time. And he has a lot of good stuff going for him. And I love what they do with his doors. Um, these little hip skirt pieces are magnets. And that's how the doors close and lock and everything in alt mode. The alt mode. It's brilliant, if you ask me. I don't know, wh I don't know why more third parties haven't done that. Tied at my number two spot, and it's two figures, they're tied, they're the same mold, I don't care, you can slam me for this, um, and I know Ratchet here looks really plain, but it's this mold. I freaking love this masterpiece mold, Ironhide and Ratchet, just so freaking great, I just, I really like it, I originally wasn't even going to get Ratchet, and then I just was persuaded to buy my love for Ironhide, and just the fact that a lot of people also really loved Ratchet, um, the funny thing is for me, Ratchet has the properly assembled shoulders, which you guys won't be able to see through my lighting. And apparently Ironhide, and this was an across-the-board thing, doesn't. That doesn't affect the transformation or really anything about the toy at all, as far as I know. Um, but I am firmly in the camp of people that love this mold, love these figures. Um, I know a lot of people were bemoaning the proportions and the fact that they do look kind of pudgy, and they are just kind of meh. Honestly, where do you get the meh? If your issues are the fact that he's that the mold is pudgy because of that beer gut and the wheel butt situation here and the weird awkward hip skirt situation, then get a different iron hide. If it's a figure that you don't like because of those issues and you're just gonna keep it in the back of your shelf or in alt mode, then you wasted your money on getting this figure. Especially if you only got it to talk about those issues in your review. I'm looking at you, Bobby Skullface L. I know you don't see this video, and I don't. I know you don't freaking care that I'm throwing shade your way, but I completely fucking disagree with you on your video about Ironhide here, specifically in this mold. Like, this is a brilliant mold. The fact that you lambast it for not being the perfect mental image that you had of Ironhide is completely just ridiculous, and is honestly kind of immature. It's really funny. To me, that you think, seemingly, that Takara should cater to specifically what you want your ma you want Masterpiece Ironhide to be. That's a really good mold. That's a fucking phenomenal mold, if you ask me. It's one of the better Masterpiece figures we've gotten this year, and I don't even have Masterpiece Inferno. So for you to lambast it because of the design choices that you have no bearing over is pointless. Instead of getting the toy... And then bemoaning how much it sucks. Vote with your wallet and just don't get the toy. You don't have to review every single fucking toy. Enough of my ranting. My number one figure of this year. And this should honestly be no surprise to you guys. If you've seen my recent videos on this channel. 
and you know how old I am, 28, just turned 20 on the 29th, and yeah, and you guys just saw him, freaking Masterpiece Optimus Primal, oh my god. <laughs> this figure is easily, hands down, my figure of the year, and honestly, would be the one figure in my collection that I would save if, God forbid, my apartment building caught on fire. Um, oh god, there's just... Optimus Primal here is just, he's not perfect, but he is damn near close, and he literally hits every single nostalgia itch for me that I've had for Beast Wars since I started collecting, because, spoilers, I grew up with Beast Wars. So, he, oh god, he's just so good. He does have his quirks. Specifically, like, with the posing on these weird panels here. And just some of the design choices and the fact that the plastic wash that they, that they did does chip off kind of easily. As you can kind of see there on the thrusters and there a little bit, hopefully, on the inside of his one thigh or shin, whatever. Um, but, oh God, he's just... To me, this is a very excellently done figure. And this is, like, for me, honestly, the closest that we're going to get to a perfect 10 out of 10 Transformer. And that's not even the nostalgia talking. Like, this, to me, is a great fucking figure. And he's just oh, so good. Just so damn good. So, I'm realizing how long this video is. Hopefully I can still do a direct upload. I probably should be able to. Um, I'm just going to make my honorable mentions for 2016 a separate video. And we'll do that in a couple days after this video goes up. So I'm actually probably just going to post this on uh, New Year's. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the Honorable Mentions video. Thanks for watching, guys.